In today's tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to use the Texture Atlas add-on to bake out light maps for multiple objects. So as you can see here, I have multiple objects. And what this allows me to do is unwrap all of those onto one single texture, bake it out, it creates UV maps for them, it creates a custom texture, everything you need, and it's really easy to bake out. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the tutorial, so let's go. All right, so I'm in the new scene in Blender, and what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and enable that add-on. So come up to File, User Preferences, and come down to UV, and you'll find this add-on in here. It's the Texture Atlas add-on, so you're going to go ahead and enable that. And once you've done that, you can click Save User Settings, and whenever you open up Blender, it's going to go ahead and have that add-on enabled. All right. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is we want to go ahead and unwrap all of these with the own, um, the own what is it called? UV maps. So we want one of these for each of them. And then we want that shared across all of these so we can use the same texture for all of them. So this will make a bit more sense in a second. We're going to go ahead and come down here and close all of these. So this is in the render panel. I'm going to close these. And you can see we have this texture atlas and we also want to open up the bake. And we're going to go ahead and click, drag this down so that they're both at the bottom here. All right. So what we're going to go ahead and do is click a plus and that's going to create a new light map and this is going to be called AO underscore bake. You can call it whatever you like. Um, but one thing to note is you don't want any textures or UV maps with the same name with it, of this. So this needs to be unique because it does create a new image and also creates a new UV map on all of the objects. So make sure this is a unique name. So once you're happy with the name, click OK. And you can see we have all these settings here. We have the resolution. This just depends on how big you're baking for. If you have lots and lots of things in a big scene, you might want to bake multiple different ones. So multiple groups instead of just baking the whole thing into a huge map. But this is small enough that we can just bake it into one map. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So since we added it and we had all of these selected, they're all part of the group. But if you do want to add objects, so let's say I have a cube here. Let's say you want to add this in. All you've got to go ahead and do is select it and click here, add selected. And now you can see it's a part of it. So what we're going to go ahead and do is grab all of these. I'm going to go B, box select, and we can select them that way. Or we can go select group, and it's going to select them. Um, if you have nothing selected, so if I have something over here like the lamp selected, and then we go ahead and select group, you can see, um, you can't see it here, but usually you can't bake, you have problems with that. So if you ever have a problem with this is grayed out, just select one of these. All right. So we're going to go ahead and click auto unwrap, and we're going to choose light map as a type we're going to unwrap. Now here we have the margin, we're going to set this to about 0.1, this is just in between, in between, when you unwrap it, you have how close each bit that's unwrapped is together, and if you have them too close then you'll have problems and it will look ugly, so just change to something like 0.10, that should work fine. Then we can click auto unwrap, click that, and as you can see this prop here is broken, this just kind of show off how you can fix any problems like this. So the way we can fix that is we can come over here to the texture panel and I'm going to go ahead and say grab the texture map here and I'm going to set the map to UV map. So that's just our default map. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove this AO because we do not need this. I'm going to select the normal map and I'm going to select UV map. Now you can see we still have a problem with our texture map here. And the reason for this is because here we need to have this selected and as you can see it fixes it but for now since we're baking we need to have this selected um, so this is a little bit of a bug in Blender 2.77 um, I don't know if it's a bug in other ones I haven't seen it if this is a bug in, bug in other ones but it is a bug for now so you, if you do want this in your game you're just going to have to when you're finally finished with if everything make sure this one's selected but for now leave this selected because we need to bake it all right, so now that everything's done, go ahead and come back here, and we're going to use this select grouped objects, and then we're going to go ahead and go blend mode, ambient occlusion, a bake mode, sorry, ambient occlusion, we're going to go ahead and click normalize, and basically that's going to make it go from um, white to black, so 
you're never going to have like the main thing if you do don't have that the main thing is going to be like gray and then the dark is going to be black so it's going to kind of be a bit darker than it should be so you're going to want to make sure you click normalized all right so click bake and now once that's done you'll see that nothing's changed that's because there's no material on these so let's create a new material new i'm going to turn specularity off because we don't need that i'm going to come over here to the texture panel new and here in the image i'm going to select ao underscore bake click that and as you can see here it's kind of added it's a bit low resolution you can see it's all um got lots of of these uh, marks i can't remember what they're called right now but they'll come back to me in a second but it's ugly so we're going to fix that up in a second but we also see they're not showing up in here so go ahead and select these Ooh, select them select the last one go Control l material and that's basically going to copy the material onto all these other objects and also this one Control l materials now for the beard it's a little bit different what we're going to go ahead and do is click on a new slot i'm going to click new and we're going to open up that same material ao bake and as you can see there it is working so let's go ahead and change this one to multiply and as you can see now it's multiplying over the bed so it does actually look like it's baked in uh, but this is really horrible it's all um, got all these little marks and stuff so the way you can fix this is come over here and down here you see the samples it's grayed out but actually you don't need to worry about that because we're going to change it to 20 because you can still click on that and change that and even click and drag uh, the reason it's grayed out is you need to click ambient occlusion here but this doesn't really make a difference as we're baking but basically just changes to whatever value you, you want so now that we've done that we're going to click bake and occlusion select all of the objects bake and occlusion now the higher number you set that the better it's going to look but also the longer it's going to take so make sure you set that to a number that your computer can handle but that also looks good all right so 20 is usually pretty good all right so now you can see that it's finished that took a little while at the end but as you can see it's finished it's nice and clean as you can see all those um little speckledy dots have gone away that looked ugly and now it looks nice and clean so let's go ahead and grab this and we're going to come up here to the main slot of this which is the the object data slot and we're going to change this to the map and there's a bit of a problem here so let's see you wait it's baking oh so we got the wrong map we want to come here and click ao bake and as you can see now it has the correct map and it's baking correctly now if you want to make sure this isn't too dark in certain areas you're going to go ahead and come down here to color and you're going to change influence to 0.9 and let's say 5 and that's going to give it just a little bit of uh just a little bit less darkness and here is where you can go 0.95 and as you can see here it's not so dark under there it's not completely black like it usually is and that just gives it a bit of more of a realistic effect um so there yeah there we go it's basically set up um you can add more of these for different things and different stuff but basically that's how you do it if you want to add more things you're going to have to redo that all over again and make sure when you're baking with objects like this that you have the correct one selected at the correct time so when you're baking you want to have this one selected and also this camera down here needs to be the correct one and you also need to be on this slot here but when you are finished you're just going to click on this it's going to fix up that problem with the normal maps so if you do go ahead and unwrap again and stuff i believe it's going to wreck your uv maps and it's going to also put this back down here so everything's gonna look weird but if you fix that up it should be fine um yeah there's not much else to do you can change your resolution here if you want a better, better resolution image um but yeah that's basically how you use this add-on it's a really great add-on if i was to add another object as you can see it's not baked in correctly but that's easy enough to fix you just want to go auto unwrap and as you can see this is all wrong again so you're just going to go up here making sure, sure you select group click on this and you click bake and as you can see the correct object is this object's added in it's got the correct ambient occlusion and as you can see here we just need to change this to the correct one and as you can see it's working perfectly so there we go so if you want to see more tutorials like this and tutorials on other subjects in the blender game engine i come out with a new tutorial every single week so you can go ahead and subscribe to see that 
Um, so as well as that, if I have any questions, I have some questions for you. Do you want to see more tutorials on the Node Logic tutorials? Do you want to see them on different engines, maybe, um, or anything like that? I'd be very interested to hear feedback or feedback on this tutorial, on feedback on my channel in general, what you think would be cool. I'd love to hear that. But other than that, have a great week. Keep blending and make some cool games with bake and baked ambient occlusion because it's really cool.